many things you have yeah. to think about yeah. that you may think you can handle prior to. There is something that happens to women on their wedding days. I'm not bashing this, but I'm just saying that just accept it. We are all going to be bridezillas. You might either be a one or a ten, but you're going to be one. <laughs> Meaning Correct. you're going to be at some at some point on the spectrum, you are going to be one. Because when that day comes and you wake up, you realize this is the day I have been spending how many months planning. That's another emotion that you're not going to think about beforehand. That's gonna just it's just gonna overcome you like okay, this is the day. Yeah. You know, so you do not have the time. You really honestly do not have the time to be thinking of all the elements that took six plus months to plan or you're trying to recap it on a day. No, 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 no. Not on your wedding day when you're supposed to be relaxing, enjoying the process of what is happening, enjoying when people are coming in and out, talking to your mom, talking to your friends, listening to music, dancing, eating. Please remember to eat. I drink plenty water. I drink plenty water. That, that's what you're supposed to be doing because really and truly the time flies. Yeah. You do not realize how much yeah. time goes by yeah. and then all of a sudden that is another panic that sets upon you when you realize where the time gone, I still didn't fix this, the place cards had to go out, who sit down which table and this one fight and that you one break up and this one. There's the car and you call and you have nobody to call. Who oh. have the rings? Who have this? Did the, the, the we'll group behind the shoes? We'll be here for two hours, guys. Oh, right. oh my god, so, this is a lovely bride <laughs> the other day. This is why you need an event planner. Huh? I had a lovely bride the other day, and when she was driving off in the car in Hilton, she was like, Who has the rings? And I was like, <laughs> You did not just tell me that because I have no number for nobody in this joint besides you. And now I am like, oh my god, guys! I went to Hilton. I was like, I think the bride left her rings in her room. Could I go up? They were like, no, you're not allowed to go up. It was I had to call Sam to call the photographer. I was like, oh my goodness, what's happening? But thank God she had the rings. She was just she had the rings. Yes, she was just like. You would not have to worry Emotions, about yeah. who has your rings. Correct. Yeah. Let a third party worry yeah. about the details on your date. Um, we don't have any questions so far. They were just asking to introduce us, which we did. Right. Um, anybody has any questions so far? What's your biggest thing, Chris? Like what? Um, everybody has said, kind of said what yeah. I've been through so far, the hair situation. Um. I had a mother of the bride contact me months after the trial to let me know that she wanted to book me, but she did not make a down payment. Oh, so down payments are very Down payments Let's are very money. <laughs> Let's talk about the money. Let's talk about the money. So normally, or I, well, I say normal because in my world it's normal, right? So with, with any vendor, when you're planning, you have to make a down payment, right? Um, which is how much once you're confirming the down payment is required to confirm the booking mm -hmm. guys Even if you tell them I'll use in your right if you don't deposit money in their account It counts for you. This goes for any vendor. Yes, right? right. So once it the down payment is made, let's just say you know I want them and you book them six months in advance. You have to remember there's a balance payment to be made now When do you make this balance payment? So my clients have the luxury of either doing it in advance, which is good, or even on the day, because why? I have all the money to be paid to vendors on the day, so you don't have to worry about, oh crap, I forgot to get the money for the makeup artist, or the cash, and what do you want to the ATM, and oh, oh gosh, I'll let us take check. <laughs> and not to mention, remember, we are uh, your first interaction, and then also for the bride, your last interaction, oh, for the of dress. Yes. When you're in you that chair your and you, that moment comes upon you, you jump on that chair and it's time to dress. I'm not asking you for my money. <laughs> you're in your moment Correct. where it's like you're starting to think about your future husband <laughs> and how every look, all the brides in the dress are going to be looking. The photographers, they're waiting for you to now get into your dress to have these mother daughter pictures or your, hmm. with your bridal party pictures of, the, of you getting into your dress and the final touches before you leave. I'm not interrupting that to ask you no. for money. But the business head is saying. So yeah. we just stand so up there and smile like, awkwardly. Hi. <laughs> I'm still here. So you have to it like approach so somebody else or maybe a bridesmaid or mother and say, Hey, um, just looking to get the balance of the payment. You know, it's awkward. Yeah. So that's why <laughs> we love event coordinators. So we have that one point of communication. 
or when, some level of safety yes, that the money yeah. is in hand mm-hmm. yeah. away from the client yes. and it will come to you even if it's not them they know that the money so has already left the client's hand mm-hmm. whereas they have to be running you guys down two days after the wedding because you forget because you go on your honeymoon to Paris exactly and you forget completely we, we've all had that experience <laughs> where they've gone off and it's like we have to wait to eat pizza retail from your honeymoon yeah. to then now finish the transaction mm-hmm. which is not so, fair to them let's just flip the script at the end of the day it's the business right and yeah. we don't want what we don't want for ourselves let's not do to others These, this is we do this full time we are not the it's a hobby thing this is our day, day to day living so that's a part of the reason probably why we take it so very seriously right and why we're so passionate about it so whew, yes. and i think so i think we so genuinely much. love i think i mean i yes brides are <laughs> slightly difficult but i i like doing bridal makeup i like the soft you know so if it could be a lot smoother and the entire process just be done you know lovely like it, i mean it's, it's it's your wedding you know I, I find like on the day of your wedding you should not be stressed out you know and, and i think it's a priority to put aside find out how much it is even if you can't afford to do an entire coordinator for the entire process find out how much it is for the day email tisha message her and get her on board for just the day so and that you don't have like that stress. everything yes. else mm-hmm. because the photographer like will love you if you have a wash one. The caterer will love you if you yeah. have one because you can't be in two places at once yeah. you are you are in whatever hotel or wherever you are getting ready and then at the venue things are happening and then people blowing up your phone wondering where to put this where to put that who to call for this this person not answering why should you be stressed out yeah. about that yeah. you know stress affects so much about us as women in terms of our emotions how we look how our skin looking so you have to think about all of these things. It's better you put it into the hands of somebody who has the, the ability to run around, come go from the hotel location to the venue location to the church location or wherever. Mm-hmm. So that they are doing the running around, they're doing the headache work and you are just relaxing in a hotel, sipping, sipping on your champagne, champagne, just taking any moment that this day has finally arrived okay. and it should be one of the happiest days of your life. Yeah. So we spoke about three things if anybody joined us in the middle of conversation I'm like, what are these girls rambling about? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're basically discussing why having a coordinator is important for the makeup artist. I thought it important to take it out of my hands. I was tired of saying the same thing over and over again. <laughs> And I said, I'm going to start talking to these vendors. And I threw out the question, guys, does it make a difference if you have a coordinator? They said, yes, and we're live, right? Because we really wanted to share with you guys why it makes sense. I'm not saying it because I just need clients. But I'm genuinely, like, you guys don't understand the difference it makes when you have somebody running your day. And you, and you unfortunately only realize after the fact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By that time, you can't do it over. By that time, you, you're just saying, I wish I did, or I should have listened to you. You know, so you spend how much ever thousand on your decor, but then things are a total chaos in the background. Mm-hmm. All of that is going to affect how the day runs, right? So, well, you don't have even see decor. Mm-hmm. You got no time. Right? So, we spoke about the scheduling side of it um, that the makeup artist actually gets an opportunity, an opportunity to say why, um, sorry, how much time they need and the coordinator or planner gets to schedule them in properly so that you guys don't have to rush your makeup um if you are late <coughs> then then that one is all on you and then they have to adjust because at the end of the day the coordinator plan is going to be behind them if the makeup starts late guys this is my one point like they have we have two others but this is my one point why i needed to know because once a bride is late the first excuse that comes out of their mouth is the makeup artist or the hairstylist because makeup and hair is the first thing that you do in the morning right so if you are not on time from then then it's going to throw everything off going down the line Mm -hmm. right and off schedule means panic means chaos you don't know what to do because there's nobody there to pull it back to bring it back right so my biggest thing is it's important for them and to give them the time and the respect that they need to know how much time they have to get your glamorous face done. Not just you, especially if you have huge bridal parties. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. So important. If you, ha- you have to manage your time. And as, as Ari said, especially the night before, that last week of the wedding is when vendors, 
will come at you. Yeah. Because yeah. Be there something. will be something somebody forgot to ask. Yeah. Oh, what am I supposed to do this again? Or they call the week of. What am I supposed to be on site again? And you are nervous wreck. You get up in the morning, you answer on your phone, or you tell me a story about she's there, or in fact, all of them, they're on the, you're on the chair and you answer on your phone. And, and every time you have to answer your phone, they have to stop. Then you have to answer your phone, they have to stop. Yeah. You can't find or somebody calls with some not so big issue, but I mean, you're dealing with your emotions, so it's a big issue for you, and you have to take a moment. Mm-hmm. And then understand it's a snowball effect after that. We also spoke about um, the payment. <laughs> Getting your balance payments done on time. And this doesn't only apply for the makeup artists, but yes. All they're this. done making you look beautiful. And if photographer sneaks, you're going to take photos and you have a balance payment to make and nobody knows where the money is. And then they have to leave. And then you need to run your money. And then they can't get paid for two weeks because they can't find you. Or you're running around trying to get your name changed and all these lovely other things that people right rush after. to do right after. Right? So, I want to say the second thing you, you go off oh, about saying re- remaining calm, mm-hmm. peace of mind, yeah. because that affects your makeup look, right? You can explain mm-hmm. more than me, but yeah, right? Your, your, your mindset for the day really affects them and what they have to do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. I thought huh? you have a comment <coughs> oh. from Cross the Box. Hi, Chantal. <laughs> Mm-hmm. She says, I think what you guys are saying is really important for brides to know. I'm happy you all did this. Oh, thank yeah. you. And the thing is, you sometimes <coughs> you don't even consider these things. Yeah, sure. Because makeup is just one aspect of like a huge puzzle that you're not now trying to put together that is your wedding day. Yeah. So sometimes you may not think of every single detail in there. Whereas Tisha, this is her job. She is a professional, she knows what she's doing, and she might bring up things that you may not have even thought about. No, might, I will. Yeah, <laughs> it probably always will. Happens. Yes, it, it always, always happens, happens, right? It always so, happens. it's so important. I mean, I understand that, you know, some of us who are very good at organizing, we think that we know it all. We, we can handle it. We can handle the organizing and, and that sort of thing. Right. But still, I, I think it's even important that even if you want to do the organizing from the beginning, I would still suggest to do a consultation with an event coordinator. If you, if you just want them on the day, yeah. do a consultation before you even start the process. Mm-hmm. Because you might realize at that point, wait, I think I'm actually need help much. throughout this entire thing and yeah. not just on the day. Yeah. You know, because like I said, the interaction we have with Tisha prior to, months in advance, it's a long paper trail of emails that we have of back and forth conversations that and we are just one of your vendors. One. Imagine yes. doing this for how many other people. I was people, about to say that. Yeah. You know, so it just takes <coughs> that headache work out. You can focus on the process of getting married, your married. dress, and your bachelorette, and your bridal shower, and putting together your guest list, and doing all those other things. Instead of coordinating the integrities of things like the makeup, you know? 